Now we're going back to the 1978 All-Ireland football final and a real moment of magic from Kerry's Mikey Sheehy at a crucial time in the game. If this is your most memorable GA moment, text in MOMENT06 or call us and key in 06 to register your vote. Jack O'Shea, shoulder to shoulder. Ooh, a lovely ball, a real attacking ball. It's deflected out and it's gone very near this the end line. Paddy Cullen going out for it. And Paddy Cullen. Talk about unrehearsed drama. You can practice almost anything going into a big match, even a big final. But I would contend that where that particular kick was concerned, that came naturally. He couldn't have anticipated being in the situation he was in minutes before half time. Just placed the ball down, and the genius in Mike Sheehy came out on that occasion. What I think earlier on was that Ger Power and Paddy had a bit of a, an altercation, as we'll say, you know, and. Um, the, the crowd reacted, some of the Kerry crowd reacted. I think Petty maybe, you know, just, just pulled him or something when the ball had gone away. And uh, then there was a couple of balls went into Petty and the Kerry crowd was still giving him a bit of grief. So when, when, when the, the, the famous incident happened, he came out, uh, about 21 yards out from his goal down the left-hand corner, picked the ball up perfectly, passed it to Robbie Kelleher, and uh, the referee blew for, for uh, a free into us. The ball went in and Paddy Cullen the double goal, he caught it and, and uh, a Kerry player backed into him and it's not out of my mind but the Kerry player was fouled by the Dublin goalkeeper and I gave an appropriate free in. I had six months of kind of hell after that because I mean it was down to that goal that everybody put the game down to and they were probably right uh, but um, in so far as the free I couldn't see any free and even to this day I mean why do they keep showing this piece of film? Is it because uh, I was made a fool of or whatever? I don't understand why they still keep showing it. I suppose because it was such a controversial goal. Uh, nobody could really understand why the free was given. For 10 years after that match, I got a phone call around half three, four o'clock, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from a couple of individuals claiming to be Dublin supporters with abuse of language. I had a young, four young kids. It wasn't very pleasant. I got threatening letters at the post. I got all sorts of things. But I was such a nature that I had to hand them into the Gardaí for it to, 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 to do action, you know. But that happens. It's one score that will never be forgotten. And I can assure you, it changed the history of Kerry football as well, that one. Oh, that's right.